Sometimes in boating, we just make some boneheaded decisions, and when that happens, well, we've just got to pay the price. Welcome back, guys, to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Hey, you got to put it in the water. No, no, your engine's out of the water. You got to put your engine in the water. Some of our boneheaded decisions may have small consequences like burning an impeller out in a motor, and other times if we make a big mistake, well, we may be paying a little bit higher price. I mean, unless you're this guy, who all of a sudden can push his way back off the dock and just pretend like, well, nothing happened. My question is, how do you really miss this bad? He had to be texting and driving, right? And as we wait to watch our guy try and find a way to get untangled from this motor, let me remind you guys that it is the year of giving in 2023 and we're doing a giveaway in every video. Same with this video right here. So go ahead and hit the like button now, leave a comment below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you do all three, we're going to pick our favorite comment and somebody's going to win a drain plug mafia tumbler. But it looks like our guys finally got it figured out. Now, boneheaded decisions are pretty easy to make in boating. There's tons of distractions and things going on around us. It's kind of like driving a car. You've got to stay focused at all times. Pay attention to everything going on around you. And of course, always look for your safe way out. Don't put yourself in situations where you could wind up in trouble, kind of like my man right here. I mean, he's absolutely put himself in the danger zone, but he knows this trailer and the situation that's going on. He's like, man, that trailer's in excellent shape. Nothing could go wrong here. I'm safe no matter what. No way this boat can fall over and possibly land on me. Or maybe it could. Lots of boneheaded decisions are made around equipment. Equipment that we use in boating. Maybe we don't understand the full capabilities of the equipment, or maybe we overjudge what we think it can do, or we overjudge our abilities. So it's important for you to understand and learn your equipment and exactly what it's capable of. So for example, if you've got a car with basically no ground clearance, probably not the best choice to try and launch it from a launch ramp or a beach with a very, very shallow slope. I mean, you're likely just gonna find yourself getting into a little bit of trouble. Now, of course, not understanding the capabilities of your equipment or understanding your skill level can absolutely wind up getting you into trouble. But one of the things that can save the day is situational awareness. And this is why you always have to pay attention out on the water to everything that's going on around you. Really, truly recognize the situation you put yourself into. Because if you recognize there's a dangerous situation, you may be able to go ahead and save the day well before it gets out of hand like we can see here. Now, as we mentioned, one of the other boneheaded mistakes we see made quite often is not understanding your ability. In this situation, the equipment they have was probably sufficient for the job they were trying to pull, but whoever was behind the wheel gave it a little bit too much gas, wound up sinking her to the axle, and now they're stuck. But the good news for this crew is they used situational awareness to their advantage. Once they understood they were stuck, they stopped trying to bury the truck anymore, called in the big guns, got the heavy equipment out, and used it to finish the job and get themselves out. So if you wanna get out there on the water and not make any boneheaded mistakes, just use a few of these simple little lessons to try and help yourself out. Stop before you do anything out there in the water and make sure you understand your equipment, your equipment's capabilities, and your capabilities of operating that equipment. And then always use situational awareness. Look for a bad situation before it happens. Definitely it'll help prevent that sinking feeling out there on the water. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out in your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Picasso West, Big PJ Taylor, Lacey Lou 561 Melvin ABT, Mary Cool, Hoyd Schmidt, and Jackson Eaton did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.